Good afternoon, this is National Weather Service meteorologist Elizabeth Shank, and this is your weekly weather briefing. A few things we're going to be talking about this afternoon. Um, we're seeing one last day of excessive heat across the deserts and the mountains. Temperatures will start to fall a few degrees each day uh, through Tuesday and Wednesday. However, humidity is going to be across, on the rise across the region, um, so it is still going to feel quite warm and a little bit humid over the next several days. Uh, the next thing we're going to be focusing on is the chance for some isolated thunderstorms um, each afternoon, uh, Tuesday through Thursday of this week. The best chance for widespread thunderstorm activity is going to be on Wednesday. Here's taking a look at our current satellite, uh, mostly clear skies across most of Southern California, except for a few areas at the immediate beaches. Um, there are a few cumulus clouds that are bubbling across the San Bernardino County mountains, as well as the Riverside County mountains. Uh, with this activity, um, we can't rule out the very low shot of a uh, isolated sprinkle or two, or maybe even a rumble of thunder. Um, however, we are expecting most areas to stay dry and mostly sunny through this afternoon and evening. For the Tuesday high temperatures, uh, they are going to fall by about 5 to 10 degrees across all of Southern California away from the immediate coastline. So high temperatures will top out right around 105 to 108 across the lower deserts. Um, high temperatures are going to range from the upper 90s to the lower 100s across the high deserts. Um, and even places in the Inland Empire are going to be in the middle to upper 90s. Uh, the cool conditions will persist at the coast with high temperatures only topping out into the lower and middle 70s across the immediate coastal areas. So for Tuesday, we are going to be looking at a slight shot for some isolated thunderstorms, mainly across the San Bernardino County mountains as well as the high deserts. The main concerns with this thunderstorm activity is going to be the risk for some dry lightning strikes. Um, there will also be the potential for some uh, breezy winds potentially approaching severe wind criteria that could lead to some blowing dust in the deserts. Um, so activity will be isolated in nature um, and it should uh, greatly wane by Tuesday evening. Looking at Wednesday high temperatures, uh, temperatures are going to continue to fall by a few degrees across all of Southern California. Um, however, uh, low level relative humidity is gonna be on the rise. Uh, so minimum relative humidity values in the afternoon will range anywhere from 20 to 30% across the lower deserts. Um, and it is going to just get higher the closer you get towards the coast. So even if temperatures do fall by a few degrees on Wednesday, it is still going to feel quite warm and actually a little bit muggy on Wednesday. Now Wednesday afternoon is going to be uh, the best chance for some more widely scattered uh, thunderstorm activity. Um, so everywhere from the deserts to the mountains to far eastern portions of the inland valleys are going to be seeing a chance for some isolated shower and thunderstorm activity Wednesday afternoon and evening. Um, with these storms still looking at a chance for some dry lightning strikes as well as some strong damaging wind gusts that will be possible near these thunderstorms. However, with the increasing low level moisture, there will be an increased chance for some locally heavy downpours that could potentially lead to some isolated flash flooding across the region. So this will be our most widely uh, scattered day, um, the most active day. However, uh, still thinking that it is mostly going to be confined to the deserts and the mountains. For Thursday, the chances are going to start to diminish, um, mainly going to be the deserts and the mountains on this day, um, and still going to be looking at the potential for some dry lightning strikes as well as some um, isolated severe wind gusts that could lead to some blowing dust and reduced visibilities in the deserts. A few safety tips that I do want to pass along to you if you're out and about during one of these thunderstorms. Um, so if you ever see a bolt of lightning or you hear a rumble of thunder, um, that will be time to seek shelter inside of a sturdy structure. Um, so when thunder roars, go indoors. Don't want to be caught outside during a thunderstorm. Uh, next, uh, never drive through any flooded roadways. So if you see flowing water over a roadway um, or a stream kind of running through the middle of a street, um, make sure that you do not walk or drive through that. that can sweep you away so make sure to turn around don't drown and last thing I want to pass along is to just make sure that you have multiple ways to receive our weather warnings so whether that's through your phone um, through the internet through the NOAA weather radio uh, just make sure that you have multiple ways to receive severe weather alerts if we issue them for your area 
Lastly, just going to be talking about some temperatures that are going to start to rebound towards the end of the work week and into next weekend. Um, so high temperatures will be uh, just potentially a few degrees above average through the day on Friday and Saturday um, with the potential for a little bit more warming uh, for the second half of this weekend going into early next week. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or um, any concerns, make sure that you follow us on social media, so Facebook and Twitter, and watch our YouTube videos to get the most up-to-date thinking on our forecasts, as well as visit weather.gov SGX for location-specific forecasts and warnings. Thanks for watching.